Well, today I'm out in the garage. I'm going to tear into the gold wing and do something a little bit different. I'm going to pull the seat off and I'm going to try out some new Wago connectors. I say they're new. They're new to me. Um, it's a smaller form factor connector, a little bit thinner, a little bit flatter than the ones I'm using now. It should work, but I want to make sure I can test it out first on my bike. I'll kind of be the guinea pig. Uh, before I recommend that you go out and buy these uh, in case you haven't already started using Wago connectors or in case you want to go to something a little smaller. Hopefully, the goal is to free up some more space for the wires under the seat. Um, and we'll get into that when I get to that point. But let's pull the seat off and see where we are. So apparently the last time I took my seat off, I didn't replace the seat bolt over here. And uh, I don't know if I forgot, I probably, and I've looked all over the shop, I can't find the seat bolt. So the only way to find the seat bolt I've found, have you ever lost a bolt? Have you ever taken something off your bike and you can't find it? The only surefire way I know to find that bolt is to order a new one. Now once I order a new one, I'll find the old one. So I'll probably go ahead and order a replacement. It's not critical. This seat's not going anywhere as long as I'm sitting on it on the bike, but uh, I must just not have put it back in the last time I took it apart. My objective is to replace these uh, somewhat bulky um, Wago connectors with these smaller, flatter, I should say, flatter Wago connectors. And I'm going to have to, this is, this is one that has five terminals. I really, most of these over here, I only need three terminals. Uh, I'm gonna redo a lot of this wiring. I also have a bunch of Wago connectors in this um, kind of a, bo a box here, a plastic box here, where I have all my wiring. If you've seen that video on how I did all my wiring, rerouted everything, this is all the wires coming into this one central box. And inside that box are a bunch of these Wago connectors. So I'm gonna pull this apart too and see about swapping those out. But let me start with these. I wanna see what I can do here. And these are the ones with three terminals. So that should replace. It's kind of hard to do this with gloves on. I'm going to take these gloves off. The reason I'm doing this today, by the way, is because the weather is so nice here in Dallas, Fort Worth. It's about 75, 73 degrees in this morning. Okay, so there's a three terminal connector. This looks like a, um, the only thing good about these gray Wago connectors is you can ride on them. They're, um, they have enough surface area where you can kind of put an abbreviation of what you're using them for. So there's the wires that came out of that one. Let me see if these wires, oh yeah, go right in. Yeah, I like that, that, that felt good. I may have to extend these wires. Um, I had to wire everything up differently because of this new Pathfinder hub. And so a lot of the wires that I had nicely tucked away, I just kind of have hanging out here for now. But I, I will come in here and uh, put all these where they need to be. Okay, that, that feels good. And now this is the one, I think this is probably a ground since they're all three black probably a ground. So I'm going to hook all these up. No need for you to watch all this. I'll, uh, we'll do a little time lapse here so you can, don't have to sit here and watch me do all this. Okay. 
Okay, well I got all those connectors switched over, so now let's see if I turn the bike on, if anything blows up or catches on fire. Okay, everything seems to be on. All my lights appear to be working. Now let me pull this junction box up and I'll show you what's inside here. I think I've got it Velcroed on, yeah, like that. So this is the box where I've got all of those other Wago connectors, as you can see here. I've got three of the big five terminal connectors and I've got two of the three terminal connectors. So I'm gonna replace these now. And this is the big test because this is where, you know, this box is kind of running out of space. So I wanna see if uh, it will free up a little more space inside this box. So let's do that next. Well, to me, it definitely feels like I am saving some space inside this box. These fit flat. I could probably even rig it up to where these could stack easily on top of each other if I needed to. Uh, I just like the flatter profile. I think as long as everything works electrically, I think this is gonna be a better solution um, but again, I'm going to go turn everything on, make sure everything's working before I finish everything up under here for now. The next step is to clean up all this stuff over here so that I don't have all these wires hanging out. Maybe I'll use another junction box. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Or maybe I might actually be able to get those other connectors to fit in here, but I don't know. Yeah, they might be long enough. I might have to do some extension, put some you know, solder up some new wires to get them a little longer. But let's turn everything on, see if it works. Okay, power is on. It appears that all of the lights on the bike are working. That's a good sign. I'm just walking around the bike right now, even though you can't see me, just to check. Um, I think I like the form factor better than I do the other Wago connectors. And I will put links in the description of this video of how you can purchase these. I think I have them on my Amazon page. Let me put this uh, box lid back in place. Okay, so I think I have a plan for being able to package up these other connectors that are coming out of the power accessory hub, uh, but I'm not gonna do that in today's video. I'm gonna do that in another video and, uh, you know, stretch this out, make it into two videos, and then I think I've got another junction box that's gonna fit under the seat so that we end up with a really nice, clean installation. You gotta remember, I have a lot of accessories on this bike. I have lighted turn signals in the front. I have lighted turn signals in the back. I have a GPS. I have a lot of fog lights. I have a lot of different accessories that are being wired into this electrical system. And that's why I think it's so important to have something like this uh, Pathfinder power accessory hub to kind of, uh, you know, make sure nothing happens to the CAN bus electrical system. But when you start hooking up all these different accessories, it can get real cluttered real quick with a lot of wires. They use different colors from different manufacturers. And I'm trying to get some consistency and something that is uh, not only extendable, but also relatively logical to maintain. Um, I like the form factor of these smaller connectors. The only thing I wish is I wish they had provided some mechanism for labeling uh, because, you know, sometimes I like to be able to look at this connector because it's got different color wires going to it. And since they're clear, 
uh, it's kind of hard to, to write on them with a Sharpie. The other ones were like a gray plastic and I could write GND for ground or LT for left turn signal. I might try using my brother label maker to see if those labels will stick. I'm afraid they won't stick. I'm afraid they'll come off, you know, just with the heat and writing. But I may try that. And that way I know when I look at a connector what it's connecting. So that might be my next step. I'll test out some labels and uh, I'll show you that in the next video. So thanks for joining me today. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to click subscribe, the bell icon if you want notifications. Don't forget to follow us on our Facebook groups where we have a Goldwing maintenance, two different groups, one for the 2001 to 2017 Goldwing and another group for 2018 plus uh, gold wings. So check out those. I'll put those links in the description of this video and on the screen. And also follow me on Instagram. I'm starting to put more and more stuff on Instagram. So if you're interested in that, do that as well. So anyway, I'll see you on the next Cruise Maze Garage.